Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's a beautiful day here in Nairobi. Karibuni sana. Yes, as you know, my name is Marie and uh, Brian. Brian is right here. So we're gonna do a, a short video today about unity. Very sensitive video as well. Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's a really sensitive talk because it's something that you struggle with um, for. I mean, like for we, we just came to realize how much unity affects how much unity affects um, our marriage. Yes, and this is something that many people go through. So we'd also like to hear your comments about it. If you have something to to share that you can teach us and teach someone else, um, this is a very open platform where you can share. You can send us a DM. Our contacts are down there. Up in our description, you'll find our Instagram pages. You can go there. Mm. And just send us a DM and tell us what you think about this. So we're talking about unity in marriage. Yeah. Um, confession: We didn't know what unity was. I think we got married. We knew the the general. Yeah, like the two shall. The general become idea, one. you know, okay, the two shall become one, and like how are we united? You know. The uh, depth of it is what we didn't know. The yeah, the depth we didn't know. Yeah. So and it's also good to to have people around you who surround you, like other married couples or. Um, people who are like in the same um, thinking as you. Mm. So when we interacted with other people, we actually came to understand that unity is a thing, yeah. you know. And God commands a blessing when two, um, He says, when two or three are gathered in His name, there He is in their midst. So there's unity there. When there is unity, especially in the marriage forum, mm. God comes. Yeah. Two or three are gathered in His name, mm. He is there. Mm. Uh, when two or three agree Andre. about something. Then it is established. It is established yeah. yeah. So I think God really uh, looks at unity and is very. Um, it's a big thing to him. Yeah. And that's why he wanted it to trickle down to us. Mm. But so many of us don't even know. We didn't even know. We were not mm. united. Um, when it comes to finances, when it comes to um, things of the home, when it comes to your know, mindset, you know, mm. we could be married. But your mindset is totally different from mine. Yeah, it's totally different, yeah. I mean, the one thing that I'm grateful for, and sorry to cut you short, on that, like I'm grateful for friends, and I mean um, married friends that we walk with, we talk to, and and we started talking about unity, and like it was you know, one thing that the devil fights in marriage is unity. Yeah. So like, um, how do we show united? I mean, you, how do we show unity? Even in the physical, whether if it's our finances, like do we have a joint account where we bring all our? I think for finances, like, it's it's very different. It's it's also unity in yeah, terms of like showing showing unity in the physical. There is a joint account, mm. yes. Like, but I also also believe in individuality. Yeah, there's that. What I'm talking about is. Um, there's the individuality part, but unity in like everything we have, are we united that we put it in the same place and then now we start distributing from there? Mm -hmm. Or is it separate? You get what you're getting, I get what I'm getting. You do if if we're doing um, if it's um, bills that we're paying, maybe we say you know like there's that um, that divide that is okay. You sort the rent. Also, the shopping, you do this, I'll do that, you know, but that is not unity. Yeah, but I'll, I'll stand with the people who actually it works for them. Mm -hmm. That kind of setting would, that kind of setting would work for them. But um, for other people, like uh, would the money, like what uh, my husband, they say money would come in and then first of all, we are both aware of what each other makes. Mm -hmm. So he makes this amount, I make this amount, and then we decide, okay, so there's a tithe that goes into it, yes. And then there's the money that goes into the joint account, yes. And from the joint account, it can be distributed to different channels. So we have this account for this, we have this account for this, we have this account for expenses, we have this account for vacation, we have an account for children, we have an account for that. So um, before we came to that agreement, it was, it was kind of like a push and pull. I shove you, you shove me this way. We were not understanding until we consulted and learned how other people did. And from there, we, did, we didn't exactly do what they were doing, but we picked up a few gems here and there yeah. that helped us unite in 
in the uh, financial part of it. Mm. Yeah, so there's the financial part, what else, um, like unity in, you know, through prayer. And do we pray together, do we agree together? Um, if there's something that we are buying, you know, do we take time to pray and agree and say that indeed we are going to get this, um, we, are going to, we are going to buy this, and then we now start saving up to add it. Mm. So, like, agreement in, and also m talking about prayer is, um, like, do we have, because definitely there's that place of individuality where you need to spend time with God personally, on a personal level. And also there's coming together as a family now as one, you know, mm -hmm. because the Bible says that we are one. When you're, in, when, you are, when you're married, when you're in marriage, you're one. So do we take time to come together and pray for our family, mm -hmm. you know? Like that is very important. As much as you know, you have to deal with your own things. You have to pray about your personal things. You have to um, work on yourself. That is there, but also like the oneness. You know that unity. Um, that you know we pray, we take time and pray together as a family. Like it's really, really important. Yeah. And also being like mindedness. You know, like we are thinking in the same. Um, in the same wavelength, okay. So if if there's um, if there's something that my wife wants us to do, then me aligning myself to that is thinking in the same wavelength, you know, and giving a hundred percent to to that thing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Also, just um, taking you back to prayer. There's this debate of. You know, when you get married, you're now one. So there's no personal space. There is personal space. And you need personal space. Remembering that two whole individuals came together. So this individual needs their space to go and recharge. Mm -hmm. And in terms of prayer, there are certain things that I would want to tell God that I would not want to tell my husband. So when I go and deal with me, and God deals with my emotions, or a feeling that I was feeling at that point mm -hmm. and moment, mm -hmm. I have dealt with it in the presence of God. So when I come, I'm in agreement in terms of we are holding hands and we're going to pray about this for the family. Yeah. We're going to pray about this for this issue that you're going through. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pray about this for the issue that I am going through. Mm -hmm. So the individuality part, yes. And then they're coming together in agreement for what you have prayed, we call, mm -hmm. and what I've prayed on this other side. Then we come and agree, okay, so this is, this is where we're going by July. Mm. This is what we want. Yes, you want this? I want this. Mm. So we agree in that. And then we pray towards that thing that we're looking forward to mm. in July. So there's, there's that place of unity in prayer. Yeah. I remember there was something that uh, Miles Monroe had said that when, when, you get, when you get married, you have to continue to pursue singleness. Yeah. Like you have to pursue singleness in because you see we work so much on ourselves when we are single. You know, um, if you ask someone, you know why you're not married? You know, for now I'm taking time to work on myself. Which is good. Which is really good. Really good. But now you get into marriage and then now you stop working. You what? stop working on yourself, and then you start. Um, you start coming out as a really horrible person, mm -hmm. you know, because um, when you are single, you know, you could, you could, um, you could pray about anger, you know, you say, oh, I think I'm, I have anger issues, so let me go ahead and pray about them. And then you come into marriage and, you know, whatever it is that, that you are dealing with is ma in marriage, it's magnified. It's magnified in, in a way that if, if there's a small issue, because you know it's in marriage that everything about you is tested. Like whatever, if you have an issue with anger, that will be tested. <laughs> you know, that will be put to trial and definitely people are going to know whether you have anger issues or not. So that is like, we, we stop pursuing singleness when we get into marriage. Right. And that is a very, it's a topic on its own. You've just given yeah. me ideas for a topic on its own. I think we should do um, uh, that in another video just to expound mm. on what it is to be 
um, you know, when you're single, working on yourself, and when you're married, so being trying be to be single. That's single a, that's a topic. Single in marriage. Single in marriage. <laughs> yes, that's a topic on its own. I think yeah. there's a lot we can cover mm. uh, with the whole individual and human being. Yeah. Yeah. So unity is very important, and yeah. that's one of the most important things in marriage. And we came to learn this after. Well, I think it was not so long ago. It was like how many months ago? A few months ago. A few months ago. A I mean, after months. one year and a few months, it's when we are learning. We that. understood that. Oh my we goodness, there's something called unity. Yeah, there's unity on a different level. Yeah. You know, there's a way that you come together as one that that God blesses. You know, there's a way that because God does not bless this unity. You know, God does not bless where there's no order. No, so things to do with unity and um, you know when when two, you know it says one can kill a thousand and two can kill ten thousand. So you look at that math and you're like, oh, so if one can kill a thousand, I think two should kill two thousand. Mm -hmm. But two, ten thousand. Mm -hmm. So it shows you, it's it yeah. shows you how much multiplication there is mm -hmm. when two people are united. Yeah. So that's why he says, God says, when two or more agree, I'm there, you know? He commands a blessing. Yeah, and he commands a blessing. So God cannot command a blessing if both of you are not and another thing, united. Yeah, mm. we could say, I could tell him, yeah, I agree with you, but inside my heart, I'm not. But you know, you know God, God looks at the heart. Yeah. So we're going to God and we're like, okay, God, this is what we have agreed. This is what we want. Mm. We want mm. to move to Rwanda. Mm. And my husband, deep down, he knows me, Sitaki, mm. Rwanda. But just for the sake of peace, let me just say we want Rwanda. You know, mm. God and Ona, that thing that your, your heart is saying, your mouth is saying one thing, but your heart is saying another thing. Yeah. So does he look at that and say, okay, yes. Mm. I, I will do that, yet the other person is not there. So he looks ukondani, where you yeah. cannot see. Mm. So I, he needs to be in line with what I'm, I, I, I'm, in, I'm, I'm talking about or what the direction. Or if he has a certain direction, mm. I agree with it, then it shall come to pass. Mm. But if I don't agree, mm. then it won't. Yeah. And there are certain instances where um, you would say something and I'm like, I'm here, I don't agree. Mm. I don't agree. Yeah. So this, there's some places you will have to sit down and talk about. Okay, these are the pros, mm. and these are the cons. Mm. We agree in this. Why? Because of one, two, three. We break it down mm. into small chewable pieces, mm. so both of us are in line, so that it's not too big for me to chew, yeah. and it for him it's comfortable. So also that place of breaking it down to come to a, to a middle ground. Yeah, and mm. an understanding. Okay, mm. yeah, we're in agreement. Mm. Yes. Especially in prayer, you have to be in agreement. Yeah. I've had instances where I prayed something and my husband has not agreed. Yeah. So then that one I know. That one I know. Oh, it's this not going one. anywhere. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's definitely not going anywhere. So like um, when mostly like in prayer, like there was a time when we didn't choose to pray. Like yeah. we were so like caught up in ministry, which is really good. We love. We love to serve. But you see, if all you do is like you spend your prayer time and your quiet time in corporate setup, but you're not taking time to retreat to yourself and just like, um, you okay? Okay, no, yes, we go to church. I know we, we go, for, we go for, for Bible study. We go for cell meetings. But if we don't take that personal time, like us as a family and just like, Move away, not move away from that, but just when we come home, we, 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 we sit down and pray and pray together. If we don't do that, if we think that the corporate prayers, like they are playing a really major role, big role, then we are wrong, you know. So that's why, like, um, there's, there's something that is made, you know, when, when it comes to marriage, there's something that is made between the both of you. And then there's what you get, you know, from other people. There's what you get, you know, from your pastor. There's what you get, you know, from your cell members. And when I say cell members, I mean in our church we have um, like what do you, we have small divisions. So we meet on Wednesdays and just take time to discuss and talk about how we've been, you know, which is really good fellowship. Yeah. So like praying and just being together mm -hmm. in 
in prayer, you know, as a family, this is what we are praying about. As a family, this is what we are agreeing to. And making sure that our heart is right because if because God looks at the heart. And one thing that we know is if God knows how we are feeling, that's for God knows everything that is in our hearts. But now if we tell him something else, you know, if our heart is saying yes and then we tell him no, then God will look at our heart and say, you know, you see even you even you yourself, you are not you're not um you don't have you're not like minded, you know. Because your mouth is saying this, but your heart is saying this, mm. you know. So it shows that even you by yourself as a person, as an individual, you're not united, mm. you know. Because you have, we have to be true to ourselves. Okay, why are you not agreeing with this? I don't agree with it. In me, in my heart, I feel that and all this, you know. Mm. And I'm not going to agree with it and say it in my mouth because... I want to, you know, definitely, okay, give me some time, let me talk, let me think about think it, Think about it, you know, and, and make sure that my heart is right, yeah. because now, the heart is the root of okay. it all, you know. It flows the issues of life. From yeah, the heart, the heart from the heart, the issues flows the issues of life. Of life. Mm. So when, when, like for us, the reason why we are talking about this, because we feel that it can help you, in a way, because it has actually helped us, and having to navigate through our issues, and see where the root the root cause of this issue is is very important. Mm. You know, being united that has been something that even today, you know, um, I'm not saying that you finally figured it out and all that. Like we we know that when we are united, things work. Yeah. And we know when we're not united, things don't work. Things don't work. Yeah. You know. So it's now the price that we are paying is being selfless, so that you can be united. You know, like. Um, I have my desires, you have your desires, you know, but in marriage there's also one thing, another thing that we, I think in marriage you just learn different things every time. Yeah. Being selfless, you know, that was something that if you're a selfish person, by the way, you can't, <laughs> you can't prosper in marriage. Mm. Because if you're, if you're a person of me, 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 you and then now you come into yeah. marriage, you have to share. You know, that, the other, that the needs chocolate, of the other. you have to share, <laughs> you know. Um, that ice cream in the fridge that <laughs> that you buy and then you come and find that there isn't. <laughs> we'll talk about that too. later. <laughs> later, but we we have to. You have to learn to share things. You know, mm-hmm. you go and buy something like you cannot go out and buy food, eat and come home empty-handed. You know. If you're buying something for yourself, make sure that you also buy it for your wife, you know. It shows... And your children. And your children, you know, if you have. It shows... You're thinking about You're thinking else. about someone else, you know. I bought this, you know, let me bring this to you. I bought a sausage, okay, I'll carry one for you, you know. Mm. It's very... Those small gestures... Just small things. They are very, they're very important. They speak very loudly. Yeah, they and, and we're we are, we are just loudly. learning this, you know. Me, when I go to the shop, I'll see you, will buy for your sweet. And it's a sweet, you know, mm. just bring to you a minute and she thinks, oh, you actually thought about me. It's very, it's very important. Mm. So unity, it's something that we've really, really struggled with. It's something that has been fought and it continues to be fought, you know, but every we fight back. day. We but, fight we, back. but we fight back because now we've learned that if we are united, mm-hmm. the devil cannot attack us, you yeah. know. Because if unity is like, um, let's say, you see like in war, let's say um, there's a circle, okay? A battalion, a like... Battalion, um, and then there are two people, mm-hmm. there are two people in the, in the circle. But you see, if we face one direction, one direction our backs are... Exposed. They're exposed, you know. But you see, having my back to on your, your back, back to, your, to your back, mm-hmm. I mean to your back, it, it leaves no room... You yeah, know. we can we can turn around. Yeah, you can turn around and, and see and see, see. You know, I, I see this on my side. Every direction see, is covered. On my side. Yeah. You know, like unity in in that area. You know, like having to cover because what happens is most of the times we leave our backs, you know, uncovered, and we leave our families uncovered. We leave our spouses, you know, uncovered mm-hmm. because we are not protecting them by shielding them and being united. Mm-hmm. So it's very it's very important. We are still learning so much from that, and we are still working towards that. So it's just like you are taking baby steps, but just making sure because we've seen. The thing is, you see, you know, vision is very important. You see that if we are united, the enemy cannot attack us. If we are not united, 
definitely things are not going to work. When you have an understanding from a point of vision, seeing and knowing that this is what I'm seeing, this is what I know, then you're able to make a difference because you can't make change from mm -hmm. what you don't even see, mm -hmm. you know, or from what you don't even know. That's why the Bible says that people perish because of lack of knowledge, mm -hmm. you know. That's why when you pray, you pray for wisdom, you pray knowledge. for understanding, you pray for insight. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, insight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding and insight. You know, insight is, is it's the ability to to see, you know, the ability to perceive things, mm -hmm. you know, in situations. Mm -hmm. Like for, like, there was, I think this, do you usually feel like um, every time before you have an argument, you have like a feeling? Yeah, you can, you, can actually, tell it's coming. you can actually tell that it's coming. It's coming. You know, because you can tell that we, we are about to uh, get into it. Yeah. We are about to get into it, you know. But you see, when, when the Holy Spirit, because it's the Holy Spirit who gives us this discernment and this understanding. So when the Holy Spirit gives us, shows us that, and gives us that, it's like a... A quickening. So it's, it's like a... It's a quickening. It's a quickening. It's a quickening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or it's, a, it's an alert. Mm -hmm. You know, like be careful what you're about to say yes. or what you're about to do because it's about to go there. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> like it's about to get really, really bad. So unity, I mean, it, I mean, this is something that it's a whole just talk topic, about. and it's, it's a, something it's that a whole topic. we can chambua more. Like yeah. with with time, mm. I know there'll be no insight, more insight, mm. and more revelation, and more understanding. You know, yeah. we we grow every mm. single day. Mm. We learn with our experiences, mm. and we become better. Yeah, yeah. And then what I learned is when you share what you know, the little that you know, it multiplies. Mm -hmm. Like your knowledge multiplies. Like what, how I knew this is. Um, if I knew how to solve a mathematics, a math problem, if I taught that to like five people, or even ten, even to a whole class, then my knowledge on that issue, mm -hmm. like my, 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 my ability now to solve that issue is heightened okay. even more. Because if you have, if you know something, the more you, the more you, the more you, the more you, um, what's the word? Give the knowledge to The someone. more you give the knowledge, you know, you mm. pass that knowledge to someone. It's like a candle, like a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. Oh, yeah. You know. Mm. But you see, like. Spread the all, word. Yeah, you, another one. You, spread the, what you spread, know. Spread the word. It won't cost you. you know. it, won't, it won't be stolen. Mm. Um, the giver of all ideas is God. Yeah. He gives everything mm. by him, through him, and what, what's that scripture? From him, him are all things and through him are all things. From him are all things and through him are all things. Mm. So if I have an idea and he gives me that idea and I acknowledge it mm. and then I come and light this other person's candle, mm. it won't take away from me. He'll give me more. And just don't give you out to your business ideas. Not your business ideas. There are horrible people in this <laughs> 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 But if I give a, a, a knowledge or understanding about something, mm. it rooms it leaves room for God to pour more. Yeah. So that because there's an outlet, more. you know, you're yeah, not yeah. holding. I'm not hold. It's not. Mm. I mean, God gives us this mm. thing. He gives us this ideas. He yeah. gives us this ability. Share mm. them. Mm. You can't be like the only thing. Then things are just coming to you. Know yeah. the reason why we are sharing this is because we have our two year experience, almost two year experience in marriage, and then we have our knowledge in Christ. So when we combine that, we create content. <laughs> no, <laughs> we create content, and but you see, share, yeah. it's something that God is putting in us. It why not share it, it with you? And you expanding know? the capacity. Yeah, it's, you know? it's an expansion of of capacity mm. that we we are stretching out of like a small little yeah. pod. And I'm saying, God, there's more. There's more to you than what I have already known. There's yeah. more to this than what we already mm. know. And somehow today, when we're doing devotions, we read um, Romans um, chapter five and six. Yeah, like mm. use your allow God give your bodies as instruments of righteousness. Mm. Give your hands or your mouth mm. to God as an instrument that of He can use. Mm. And by giving, He's saying, "Okay, God, I give you my lips. Mm. If whatever words you put inside of me." Let them go out mm -hmm. to the person that you want them to go out to. Yeah. And in this way, we minister to other people mm -hmm. through our experiences, mm -hmm. through
through the things that we learn yeah. because I have allowed God to use my hand mm. as an instrument of righteousness. So mm. I will God will put something in my hand. Mm. Me knowing it is not mine. It all belongs to him. Mm. I'm just a channel through which he flows. Mm. So I he give, he puts words. more. Mm. I give, he puts more. Mm. And in my he putting more, I also expand. Yeah. Because um, small beginnings mm -hmm. and then it grows. Yeah? God can trust you with little. Yeah. Definitely can trust you with much. You so know, if God can trust stuff. you with information, then He can put you in a place where, you know, like um, like I was listening to Miles Mandra. I listened to him quite a bit, and you were saying, you are praying for God to give you a plane, a private jet, but <laughs> like you are you hold information you know for him he used to teach and everything god is going to give him a private jet so he can move around easily and go and share that whatever it is that he knows or the knowledge that he know that he has with other people you know so it's all about stewardship we are all stewards you know so whatever it is that god gives us we have to channel it you know we are like um we are we are medium you know yeah. we are medium so god gives us something and then we just channel it to other people and that's how that's that's now putting your candle to light other candles to, to light other candles and that's why the light you know god says that he, he gives us the light to not, not hide it under yeah the not to hide it table. under the table number under the bed but to put it in a place where it can illuminate you know the the, the darkness mm -hmm. you know so it's in our knowledge the sharing the what 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 we know and what we are going through, we share with you. Why? Because we want you to know as well. So, mm. like, yeah, I mean, that's... Basically, that's it. That's it. I will diverge Kidogo, but uh, thank you for watching that video. As, as a spirit lead. So sometimes <laughs> you, you'll find that um, because we pre-record these videos. So we said, okay, we're talking about this, but we are not, we're not going to come in perfect. Like, we are not, okay, definitely, we are not we incompetent. Work. But we are not going to to steer out of the leading of the Holy Spirit, you know, because we walk with the Spirit of God. So when we come, you know, saying, oh, this is what we are going to discuss, and God leads us in a certain direction, then like, mm. we also need to know that that's how God works, you know. Mm. You go thinking this way, or you think like God can come to you in, only in this area. Okay, you're praying for a car, and for you, you know that the only way that God is going to give you that car is giving you money to buy that car. But God can say, can talk to someone, go and give this person this car, the car that you have. God's provision and God's way of channeling through and using man to man, because this is what God does, you know. He uses man, God uses man. And when you, he says that, no eye has seen what God can do to a completely surrendered, surrendered vessel. vessel. So when you surrender yourself to Christ, Definitely, God is going to use in ways that you don't, you can't even imagine. Mm. Yeah, so that's it that we had. So it's unity. At the end of the day, it's also unity in Christ. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So All right, guys. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm. And to like it, that button. Press the button, share. like, share, subscribe. Let's grow this channel to the glory yeah. and honor of God.